welcome back to the channel. It's Lauren. Thank you so much for watching. Welcome back to Scent Sunday. Today I thought we would say goodbye to summer by talking about some summery perfumes. I have a ton in front of me. Like it's literally, we're just, we're talking about summery, fruity, vacation type fragrances. I know that we're getting into fall a little bit, like we're gonna start getting there, but I thought we'd have one last hurrah for these fragrances. And I have different price points, body sprays, like tons of stuff going on. So I hope you guys are down to watch. There is so much here. I'm just gonna get started. I'm gonna start actually with the few that were sent to me from Twisted Lily. I am an affiliate with them. You guys know that at this point. And I thought I would talk about some of the fragrances I picked out specifically that had some tropical notes that I was excited to try. Now, if you know me, I would say this is like most of the tropical slash fruity perfumes in my collection. I definitely tend to skew way more toward like unisex scents, woody scents. I love a leather note. I love a smoky note. Like I tend to go to that stuff maybe a little bit more than something straight up fruity, but I've been trying to just try different ones. And the first one here, this one is from Zerjoff. It's my first Zerjoff fragrance. This is from, I think the Shooting Stars collection. I don't know a ton about how they do their fragrances. I'd love to know what your favorite Zerjoff fragrances are. Like I've not really explored this house much and I'd love to, but this is Cruz Del Sur. And I did not smell this before they sent it, both of the ones. I was like, all right, let's go for it. But the intriguing notes in here, this had tons of tropical fruit, but it also had a milk note in here. And I just, I'm always so intrigued by lactonic notes in fragrances. I love a woody lactonic scent. And so it was like, maybe I'll love like a mango milky scent. Like, I don't know, that sounds kind of interesting. Maybe like some type of tropical milkshake type of thing. I was reading tons of reviews cause I was like, oh, should I go with this one? And I ultimately did, went with it. All right, let's talk about this. This to me is a very like green type of like mango scent going on, but you get this creamy kind of lactonic note. I do get that. And there's something about it that is so interesting. It's a very unique scent. I highly suggest sampling this. I would not go full bottle on this one. It's definitely an interesting and unique scent experience. It's very fruity, but again, it has something lactonic. There's almost, as much as I'm saying, there's a green kind of fruit note to this. There's also this almost over ripened fruit note as well. So um, you're getting, I don't want to say it's stinky, but you know, it, it, this is what it smells like, okay? You walk into a grocery store and you can smell the produce section of fruit. It smells like that mixed with something kind of creamy and vanilla and like, yeah, milky vanilla to me. That's what I get. It almost smells like grapes, honestly. I know grapes are not in here. Let me read the notes off. And it says mango, guava, pineapple, and apple blossom in the top, black currant, exotic floral notes, and violet leaf in the mid. And then it has milk, dried fruit, musk, vetiver, and cedar in the base. Yeah, it just, it smells like grapes, like everything about a grape, but something a little milky going on. So um, I smell like the sweetness. I smell the skin. I even smell the vine it's kind of on. I know there's no grape notes in here, but just imagine that you're smelling that at your local grocery store. <laughs> and even how you know when you go into different grocery stores, you can kind of smell that there's like fresh fruit and like, you know, green bananas, but there's also like some fruit that's maybe on its last legs. Like it's that whole experience in here. It's very interesting. I find on the dry down on this, it does get a little bit more woody and more creamy and there's no vanilla in here, but I think the sweets from all the other things in here here mixed with whatever's in the base to me comes off a little bit vanilla and a little milky and kind of powdery almost too. So very interesting, definitely not one I'm wearing often, but I do find it to be a unique scent experience. And if you're looking for something tropical, but also something different, or you want to kind of understand what niche is, I feel like this is a really good example of a niche perfume brand doing something tropical and fruity. Like this is not the mango, guava, pineapple scent you would find at Bath and Body Works, you know? Like it, it has its own story to tell. <laughs> so that's the first one that I got. And then the other one I was really excited actually because I've seen some really great reviews on this fragrance. This is from Floraiku and this is one umbrella for two. I believe this, I don't know if it's limited edition, but this is not the top that I've seen on other people's bottles. But this one I've heard be talked about as a blueberry muffin fragrance. So I was so intrigued. I've also heard that it 
has a bit of a green note to it as well, so I was excited for that. I wanna show you the packaging really fast though, because this is quite an expensive perfume, I feel very grateful to have been able to try it out, but they do packaging exquisitely. So this is how it comes. It comes in this box, which is beautiful, and it's like reusable. But inside, you can see that there's a few extra pieces in here. This like houses perfectly here, but then you get actually a travel spray in the box when you buy the set. It's the same scent, but what's really neat is the top of this pops off. It's a beautiful like piece, but then it turns into the travel spray. So you can put this in here. Gosh, it's so cool. And then this is a cap. There's a cap in there for it. So if you love this, want to bring it around, you can do that, which I think is just beautiful and awesome. It's, oh, it's so pretty. It has like this dragon umbrella. It's beautiful. And then there is a little cap in here as well so that you can still cap your perfume if you want that way too. So for me in my collection, like I don't necessarily travel like that, but if you're someone who is wanting this, it's your favorite scent, your signature scent, it's kind of nice that you have this. This travel option. So I just wanted to show that because I do think it's quite unique to this brand and really shows quite a bit of attention to detail. But let's get into the actual scent of this. Oh my gosh. So initially this to me is just, it's juicy. It's so juicy, but there's almost a chocolate note to this as well as something really green, almost like I want to say like a weed or something. I definitely understand that blueberry scent coming out. I've heard someone literally describe this. I think I think it's Delicious Sense. I think that's her name. It's Delicious Delights. I love her channel. I'll leave her down below. I try to leave everyone I can down below. I watch tons of perfume content. I was like looking up her review of this and she described it as like baking blueberry muffins with a little bit of chocolate, like putting it in the oven, like just that whole thing. And I definitely get that, but I get something also quite juicy from, I believe it's black currant in here, but I get how that kind of translate as this blueberry muffin. So it's very fruity, very juicy, but I love that it has something a little bit more grounded to it as well. I believe this also has a tea note in it. The three notes that are listed, uh, top notes, black currant, that really juicy kind of tart and tangy and sweet. Mm, it's so good. You definitely smell that. Then it has tea in the mid and that's giving it, I think that green note that's in here. And then in the base there's cedar and I don't get anything overly woody. Again, for some reason I pick up on something almost chocolate from this fragrance. It's a very fun one, very fruity, very delicious. And if you're into those kind of almost edible type scents, I think you'd really like this. And I feel like this comes off very like almost bakery gourmand, although it's very fruity and it's a beautiful perfume in my collection as well. And like I said, these are available at Twisted Lily. Um, you can sample them on there as well. I'll leave those down below. I do have a code, like I mentioned, no pressure ever. I always am like, get what you want, sample first, always with anything, whether it's very expensive or not. If you can sample, I highly suggest it. But those are definitely some good fruity options that are on the website. And those are the ones that were sent to me. For anything else in here, I'll let you know if it was sent to me. But next, you can also get this on Twisted Lily, but I bought this myself because I was so excited to finally get this. I knew I wanted it this summer. If you want an elevated fruity scent, I think this is the one you should go for. Like this is one of my top ones. If you want something girly and sweet yet still like sophisticated, it's like a, it's an elevated something that maybe Bath and Body Works would sell, but it's elevated. It smells more expensive. I didn't even mention what this is. This is Sunset Hour from uh, Goldfield and Banks. It's an Australian perfume brand. I just love this. I get something fruity in here, but I also get something almost like cotton candy, a little bit of that sponge sugar kind of thing going on with some fruits in there as well. I believe there's raspberry. I do get a bit of raspberry from it. To me, it's like a sweeter, more summery version of Burberry Her, at least to me. I find Burberry Her goes very perfumey and kind of just smells like department store perfume. I have not been the biggest fan of that scent, um, so I'm kind of surprised. And I think my initial kind of connection between this perfume and that one kind of made me hold off on this to see if I'd actually really like it. But ooh, I love it. It is very sweet. Again, very much that like kind of sugary scent, but so, so good. The notes in here, Kwandong or Desert 
desert peach, raspberry, cashmere wood, sandalwood, mandarin orange, pink pepper, jasmine sandback, benzoin, and ginger. Mm, there's nothing too spicy, even though it has the ginger, even though it has um, some pink pepper in it, I don't get anything too spicy. But I will say there's almost something going on as well in this that's similar to me to Instant Crush. So if you like Instant Crush, you might like this. It's definitely sweeter. And I feel like that, ra it's like a sugared raspberry with something more and kind of sexy underneath it. It's beautiful. I feel like this name Sunset Hour is so perfect. If you were going on a tropical vacation, I think this would be beautiful. I think this would just be great for any type of summer or like water activity. It's fun, uplifting, definitely a daytime fragrance to me. I wouldn't necessarily wear it at night. I don't think it has enough sex appeal or isn't as heavy as like I like to go. Like I feel like nighttime's a time to show off your perfume and this to me is a little more casual, but I love it. It's so good and I'm surprised by how much I like it again with fruity scents like I think these are both really beautiful and interesting and I would wear them for sure but this is one I like really want to reach for like the difference I love having a big perfume collection so I like having these like interesting little pieces but when it comes to like if I really wanted like a workhorse you know collection only this would be a summary more workhorse perfume for me. So I love Sunset Hour. It is so good. I really like just Goldfield and Banks in general. I think they have a lot of great fragrances. Mm, 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 mm. So good. So sugary sweet in the best way. A still kind of refined way where it's not too juvenile, but it's good. It smells so good and yummy. All right, moving on. I want to talk about another tropical fragrance. I found out about this from one of you guys in my videos. This is from, I believe you pronounce it Maya Enjai, and this is the scent Tropica. I actually picked up the scent sampler um, on net -a -Porte. so I'll leave that down below if you want to try it out it was a beautiful experience it had a lot of just different materials to it and you know you can read more about her and all that I thought it was great but this is the scent Tropica and this is fruity but also very woody and I think that that wood that is in here really balances it out mmm you definitely get this pineapple for sure in here you smell that off the bat it's kind of like Dole Whip think of Dole Whip oh my gosh it's so good but there's something ground to this. There's definitely some woody notes in here and I find that as it dries down on my skin that's really what pops out and stays and I love that. I think that's one of the things with fruity ones for it to be one I'm like wearing a ton. I love when the dry down kind of settles into something a little more familiar to my normal senses of smell. That's perfect for me. I don't want it to necessarily stay super sweet, super fruity the whole time and I find this to be so classy. Like for that very tropical very fruity scent. This is a great one, especially if you want something pineapple. Okay, the notes on this, you guys. Fig, pineapple, coconut, citruses, ambergris, sandalwood, and iris. Like I said, in the dry down, you pick up on that sandalwood and the coconut as well. It kind of becomes that dry kind of husk of a coconut, and I love that on my skin especially. I feel like that comes out. I don't know. I can just picture the texture of that husk, you know, and the, the dryness of it. That's like not, it's not nutty, but you know, I don't know, it reminds me of like toasted coconut. I love this. I love that it's also not too sweet, although it has all those beautiful fruits in here. I don't find it to be overly sugary sweet either. So I love this one, one of my favorites. If you want something I feel like that's a little bit more tropical and maybe not as woody, I would go for Ellis Brooklyn's Sunfruit. I had a lot of expectations for this fragrance and so if you've seen my other perfume videos, you know this isn't like my absolute favorite. I still think it's a good fragrance though, don't get me wrong. This also has pear in it, so I feel like it's a little bit more tangy than this. It's a lot more just fruity in general, um, so that's what I pick up. Even though this has notes of fig, it has notes of coconut, but this stays a lot more tangy, bright, and fruity, whereas this has something kind of like tropical, yet cat like resort wear to it. This is just a lot, it, this is very similar in scent, but this to me is a little bit brighter, and it doesn't have the pineapple note. You're really getting that like warm pineapple juice, I feel like, in the Tropica scent. The notes on Sunfruit are pear, fig, bergamot, and plum tree. There's orange blossom, jasmine, cyclamen, and iris in the mid, and then coconut, musk, vanilla orchid, and amber in the base. I guess there are no woody notes in this. It kind of just stays higher, you know? Like, it, it doesn't settle into anything. It just stays kind of sweet. It definitely delivers on that tropical vacation. I mean, the bottle alone is so beautiful. This is one that I feel like if you're gonna be in, like, high heat, I think would smell really nice, especially if you're doing, like, just, like, fun 
fun stuff on vacation. I don't wanna say touristy things, but you know, like you're just doing more on vacation. You have like sites to see, that type of stuff. I think this could be fun. Whereas this to me is like, you're kind of taking your vacation where you're living like a local more, you know? So you're still getting all the tropical vibes and you're enjoying your vacation, but it, it's just a different, it's a different vibe, okay? Different vibe, but similar-ish sense to me anyway. I think, I mean, different enough that I have them, but I have a huge perfume collection and I wanna just reiterate, I don't know what you want from your perfumes if you're out there. I don't know if you just like smelling stuff, if you want a large collection or not. That's something I like. I like having just different scents to smell and to try and to wear one day and wear something new the next day. But definitely from a video like this, honing in on maybe the one that seems the most appropriate for you and just getting that one is like, makes sense and is normal actually. Anyway, let's move on. I wanna talk about the Sol de Janeiro perfume now. They also do body sprays and this is the scent of the Boom Boom Cream, which is more like pistachio and caramel definitely very gourmand you smell also almond it's very almondy now that uh, it's so weird I pick up on a ton of almond in here actually but this to me is undoubtedly like delicious yummy vacation vibes I mean I think I just associate it with the lotion which is bright yellow and just reminds me of getting ready to like go on vacation you're like making sure you have a tan maybe getting all moisturized up mm, and it just gives me vacation vibes, summer vibes, even if I'm not doing any of that, it's in a bottle. Now, I don't think you need the perfume. I think you'd be fine with just the, the spray if you're gonna go for it and it's a lot cheaper. So that's a little pro tip for you if you don't wanna buy the actual bottle. This is definitely like summer vibes in a perfume. And for the full list of notes on that one, it has pistachio and almond in the top. I told you that almond, man. Heliotrope, which I think also has some almondy smells to it and jasmine in the mid, then caramel vanilla, salt and sandalwood in the base. It is beautiful. Definitely you're gonna want to like something yummy, kind of um, edible and kind of like a treat, but it is so good. There's something about it that specifically turns tropical though. It doesn't just smell like baking or holiday cookies or you know what I mean? It has a very specific tropical twist. I don't know if it's the salt note. I don't know what it is, but it's beautiful and perfect for summer. All right, kind of in a similar vibe. This is the Nest Madagascar Vanilla Perfume Oil. I got this actually through one of those Sephora sets and I have a video on it, so I'll leave that link down below. But this is a vanilla scented oil, but this to me is the perfect tropical vanilla. It is the perfect tropical vanilla. I can't get enough of it. Ooh, it has this beautiful warmth to it. I think there is a coconut note in here. Um, I think it's like a vanilla orchid note in here. But man, this is like a sexy vanilla. Mm, but you're on vacation. I don't know if it has sandalwood in it, but I wouldn't be surprised if it does. It kind of smells like that. I love how warm this vanilla smells. I love that it almost smells sun-kissed as well. It's beautiful. And if you're looking for a tropical vanilla smell that doesn't smell too floral, it doesn't smell like sunscreen. It just smells smells like a yummy vanilla with a coconut kind of tropicalness to it. Nothing too powdery. It's more on the woody side. There's this slight, 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 slight tang about it as well. It's a great one. And there's something about it being an oil that I find I think is also kind of sensual and sexy to me. And I just imagine someone in like white linens walking along the beach, maybe during sunset, it's going into night or being in their little like cabana watching the sunset. Mm. Beautiful, love this, had to go in this video. All right, I'm skipping around to a bunch of stuff. I put a lot of perfumes in here cause I like kind of mentioning a bunch of different price points, especially in a big like blowout video like this. Since I have a lot of different things to pull from, I don't know what's gonna kind of strike your fancy or what your price point is either. So I kind of like having as much as possible. So I wanna talk about some body mist. So, oh my God, Beach Nights, you guys, this. <laughs> I love this. I love this so much. Now this is definitely like a gourmand in the way that I like this. Let me read you the notes, okay? Toasted marshmallow, sea salt breeze, s'mores accord, beach driftwood, creamy vanilla. This smells like Teddy Grahams to me <laughs> in, a, in a perfume. Like imagine the perfume version of all these things. It's not entirely literal, but it's taking a lot of direct inspiration, let's say. But I get like almost something like Teddy Grahams, s'mores version, like, oh, something 
something like that, something really delicious. The sea salt's definitely prominent in here, which adds that tropical and like beachy vibe to this and kind of cuts the sweetness as well, gives it something interesting. I almost feel like it adds this tang, almost like if you had Teddy Grahams and Sunny Delight. Like those are the, the really base inspirations. This doesn't smell like Sunny Delight, but that's just what I get. It's like you're eating Teddy Graham s'mores and drinking a little Sunny Delight. That's what this is in a bottle to me. I am like almost done. I have a few backup bottles of this because I love it so much. I wear it on me. I love spraying this around my room. I wish this were a candle. I'm using the body wash as well and I love it every time I wash my body. Like I'm obsessed with this scent. It is summery, but I would wear it all year round. It is so good. Mm, perfect summer body mist. I love it so much, especially if you like, again, those gourmands, you like something kind of foodie. You gotta like that. I could see a lot of people not liking it if you're not into like toast. If toasted marshmallow is not something you're into, just stay away. But if toasted marshmallow is something that intrigues you, piques your interest, check it out. It's an amazing one, okay? I don't know if you can still get it, but if it comes back, be on the lookout for it. The other one that I have in here is way more fruity. This is Pink Pineapple Surprise. I picked this up because one of you guys mentioned that you had it. And I was like, you know what? I'm going to try it out. Mmm. Mm, and this is another one that it's that Dole Whip, but this one doesn't have the woody notes. Let's see, fragrance notes on here. This has sweet pink pineapple, palm sugar, sun-drenched nectar. This is just the Dole Whip like cream, nothing to really ground it. And instead I feel like it almost has again that, it's like pineapple cotton candy, pineapple sponge sugar. That's what I get from this. So sweet, like, Mm, on the tip of your tongue sweet so so sweet but really nice and I love that it's in a body spray this would be too much in a perfume for me but as a body spray I feel like it's just this really nice refresher this is one I would take to the pool or wherever I'm at and just kind of give me a refreshing mist you know it's kind of hot out maybe I just took a dip and I just want to mm -mm, feel the vibes feel the moment this would be absolutely absolutely perfect so um yeah glad I picked that up it's really great pineapple scent and I love that it really goes sweet and doesn't stick to I mean it's very fruity again Dole Whip think Dole Whip but like if Dole Whip were cotton candy <laughs> <laughs> that's what it smells like to me. It's very good. I'm glad I picked that one up and I think I got it on semi-annual sale So I think it was like five bucks and I think that was amazing as well. All right, we're really making some progress here I think I only have eight more <laughs> Eight more perfumes. Okay, I'm gonna keep it short and sweet We don't need like a, an, an essay on each of these. Okay, we don't I know we don't let's talk about another Fancy one one that was on my list I really wanted to get for summer and this is mango skin from Wilhelm perfumery. This is sexy fruity Okay, if you want a nighttime fruit fruity fragrance. That's what this is to me. This smells exactly like the name Mango Skin suggests, but the sweetness is toned down a bit. It has a little bit of like a greenness to it still, but it's still really juicy, but it's sexy. There's something about it. it like, you know, it has a deeper voice. I just imagine you sweating at night. You're still out, you know, it's your skin's just a little sticky. So perfect with this scent on it. This also has some notes in there that actually make that happen. I can smell the red wine in here. I, I can smell that that's in here. Such an interesting note, but I think it adds something to it. There's also some civet in here. And I think that kind of muskiness in the base, it doesn't come off too musky or like too animalic, but there, I think it's what's adding the sexiness to it, man. Mm, I love this. And this smells so good on my skin as well. It's another one I don't wear a ton like I feel like this has a very specific place but I love having it I love having it in my collection and every time I wear it I love it and I think it's nice to have something a little bit deeper a little bit richer in here with the other fragrances and like that is still fruity but add something a little bit different and that one I kind of gets I don't want to say powdery but as it dries down that also starts happening on it so full list of notes it has mango orange and violet in the top frangipani mango blossom and ylang ylang in the mid black currant musk red wine and civet in the base. I think maybe those florals are what give it something a little bit powdery as it dries down, but I just find it, it's beautiful. It is a very classy, I feel like fruity fragrance. It definitely is something so much more elevated, so much more weight than something that you would get at Bath and Body Works, yet it has that juicy mango and it's beautiful. I love it so much. Definitely a great one to sample that you can also get at uh, Twisted Lily if you wanna try a sample of it. 
I purchased that one though. Mm, I love that. I love it, love it. This is kind of a summer must have. I feel like it is, I really do. All right, continuing on, let's hit on some coconuts. I mean, it wouldn't be a video of mine uh, if I wasn't talking about some coconut heavy perfumes. I do love coconut still. I just like it in more specific ways. I've shouted out and talked about Juliet Has a Gun, uh, Sunny Side Up so much. I freaking love this perfume so, so much. If you want something that's coconut, but isn't too tropical, it's definitely not sweet. This is the one. This has coconut milk, sandalwood, isoe super. It is woody. It is beautiful. It is unisex. It is so. This is like the tops for me. This is, I can't, like tops. Mm, it's a lightweight. I feel like it plays in the sun well. I would wear this all year round though. I would wear this in the dead winter because the wood on it, it's like that dry yet kind of creamy sandalwood coconut vibe. I lose my mind over it, okay? I lose my mind. Plus, I just love Isoe Super as well. So if you haven't smelled this yet, smell it. It doesn't work for everyone um, on people's skin. I've heard it kind of goes sour or doesn't work for them, but on me, it's so good on Sam. It's so sexy. I love layering this with other stuff. I feel like it also has some really great longevity to it because of the Isoe Super that just like stays around, man. Even when you can't smell it anymore, other people can smell it. Obsessed with this, you guys already know, so I'm not gonna talk about it too much longer, but I will give you some notes. Vanilla Absolute, Amorous and Jasmine in the top, Sandalwood, Coconut Milk, Orris Root, Jasmine in the mid, and then Isoe Super and Ambrette or Musk Mallow in the base. Just beautiful. That one you can get a Twisted Lily and I think you can get a sample of it there too But they also sell Juliet has a gun at Sephora and other places as well So if you have a Sephora that's like fully stocked, maybe you can smell it there. Oh my gosh I just want everyone to smell it I just I hope you like it as much as I do because I'm obsessed with it Obviously we're moving on from that for a more affordable coconut This is coconut palm from mix bar and this also has that kind of coconut sandalwood or like woody coconut thing going on I also get something kind of toasted in this which is mm, something I really love about it this is definitely sweeter ooh but it has that still woodiness to it so I've described this before and I think I'm right I still like that description but I've described it before as like coconut sugar it smells like coconut crystallized sugar mm, and I love that I if you can't tell I really love when you can smell the sugar note in something especially if it starts getting a little heated it gets a little toasted it gets a little caramelized like oh I love that and I feel like this has that kind of toasted coconut sugar smell to it something a little bit woody to it as well and I can't believe that this is priced at what it is I think this is like under $20 definitely a great coconut scent I think it's so easy for coconut scents to go so pina colada or like you know I don't just too fruity too I guess cheap maybe but this one I I love how they've done it all right so the notes on this coconut vanilla sandalwood woody notes musk salt seaweed mmm all those things cut down the sweetness so that it's not too much it's just really nicely balanced to me and I feel like it smells so much more expensive than it is like I if this was from an expensive brand a niche brand something even sold at Twisted Lily I'd want it like that's how this is to me so if you haven't smelled this you can smell it at Target definitely try it see if this is like the type of coconut scent you might like last two coconut scents I want to mention Skylar's coconut cove I don't know if I've really talked about this one I've had it for a while I initially bought it but I've been sent it as well I was impatient and I wanted to get my hands on it and I didn't know if they would send it so I was like I'm buying it <laughs> this is like a, a fresh coconut it's more on like a coconut sea spray with a little bit of lime like a little bit of citrus going on it's more that it's a little bit lighter and airier a little bit brighter as well I think there might be still some woods in it too it is a very nice coconut set and it's another way I tend to like coconut and I love that this one doesn't go too much into coconut water I'm not into that tangy coconut water mess you know what I mean things like watermelon coconut water um, those kind of have a similar tanginess and I don't want to say stink but in my nose it's kind of a stink I love that this doesn't go into that territory to me it's right on that perfect line there's something kind of watery to the scent but it to me it doesn't smell like coconut water it's different if you don't get it i don't know how to explain it but it, to me it's different the notes on this bergamot hibiscus cardamom and lemon in the top coconut gardenia green notes and jasmine in the mid and broxen woodsy notes heliotrope and vanilla orchid in the base i've never looked up the notes on this one yet um or at least not like the full list of notes they usually give around like three that they really feature in here but i'm definitely smelling like i said that kind of citruses 
with it. It's almost like the lime and the coconut, but it's not limey. It's just kind of citrus and bright, but it's not too much either. I have Pacific Lime from Atelier, which has that coconut and lime mix, or even Virgin Island Water from Creed also has that kind of like coconut lime mix. This is like a tamed down version entirely of that. Like it's not that distinct if you're familiar with those fragrances, but I feel like it has something about that mixed with like seawater and kind of diluted. Anyway, I do enjoy this coconut scent. It's really nice. And I wanted to give that a shout out for my summer fragrances. And then I think the last one that features coconut, I feel like quite prominently is the Kaoli Utopia Vanilla Coco 21. I will definitely be picking up a big size once I run out of this because mm, I love you have to like that kind of white floral scent to like this because the first time I smelled this, I didn't because it, it smells like florals and I was like, whew, that's not what I was expecting. I thought I was getting vanilla and coconut, but now with some time and like, I feel like just kind of going on my own scent journey for my own nose. Mm, 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 mm. This is creamy and powdery at the same time. It has a coconut milk note in it. It has like a vanilla bourbon. So that vanilla to me is really rich. It's like very bodied vanilla in here and I feel like the mix of the coconut, which also has something kind of creamy to it, mixed with the vanilla bourbon, those two notes help so much to kind of round out some of the florals in here. And so although this has like a sunscreen type of scent, I feel like those balance it in a way that I'm down. And it adds a sweetness. I feel like this goes a little bit sweeter than some of the other scents that kind of have that vanilla coconut floral profile. The main accords on this, like top accords on Fragrantica are white floral. You have to be willing to try those, but the notes on this, coconut milk, honeysuckle, pear blossom, Italian lemon, mint notes, jasmine sandback, tuberose, gardenia, Ambred. I do smell the tuberose as well, but it's that nice, good, sweet tuberose. Anyway, in the base, there's bourbon, vanilla, sandalwood, musk, and patchouli. I don't really smell the patchouli at all. I think if anything, it just kind of gives it a, like a lasting power, which is great. I love this one. Definitely not for everyone. And it wasn't even for me initially. So this might be one that grows on you, but I love the mini Kaoli bottles like this. They're so cute and they look good in your collection and all that type of stuff. Um, and they're super useful, but you can still travel with them the same way and I love that you can experience the scent in the spray bottle like you would a normal one for a cheaper price so definitely with some of the Kaoli if you're on the fence just go for the little bottle you don't have to get a big one and then obviously if you use it up you know you like it but Man, that one's so good. And a lot of the time this summer, I've been wearing these two together because it kind of cuts some of the florals and even the vanilla. They have similar notes, but do something totally different. But together, mm, I really like them together. All right, three more, <laughs> three more fragrances. I knew this is gonna be kind of the last time I was really gonna be talking about summery fruity fragrances. And I just wanted to go out with a bang for the, for the summer. So I hope you guys don't mind. Let's keep going. I'm gonna talk about one uh, from Escada. Basically any Escada perfume is going to be a tropical summer fruity vibe. Like that's like what they do. This is the Flor del Sol. I got this from Ross, I think. So you can definitely find these at the discount places. This is just like pool party youthful, you smell fruity, you smell sweet. You're not trying to hide that that's what you like and that's who you are. What really intrigued me, cause I bought this without smelling it, um, there was this tequila note in it and I just could not not get it. To, I wanted to smell the tequila note, come on. I mean, I don't know about you, but to me that is intriguing, okay? So list of notes, there's grenadine, tequila, orange, then mid notes, dahlia, and base notes, sandalwood. There's not much to say with this. Like it smells sweet <laughs> and fruity. Uh, I guess kind of like the orange, like an orange syrupy kind of cocktail. I, I get some of the cocktail and the grenadine and the tequila, but it's really just like a fruity syrupy type of scent. I don't want to say it's generic, but it's kind of generic. It's very Escada. You know if you like it, you know if you don't, okay? And I think this is just a fun one. This reminds me of when I was in, I don't know if it's like eighth grade. I don't know if I was in grade school or like the beginnings of high school. I had a little mini perfume collection and I had quite a few Escadas. They were one of the ones I really liked. I had one that was like an orange and pink bottle. And so there's definitely some nostalgia there just because it's very much their DNA, but it's a good one. I feel like if you're going to like a Vegas pool party, this to me is like that type of fun vibe where you're drinking, 
you're having fun, it's fruity, it's hot, it's exactly what it is unabashedly. That's what this fragrance is. All right, last two. I wanna talk about this Skylar scent. Now, I don't normally talk about the uh, Scent Club Skylar scents because these aren't full bottles yet. Sometimes I feel like they do develop them into full bottles. And the Papaya Paradise, I really liked. It's very fruity, very papaya scented. And I'm not always the biggest fan of every scent from the Scent Club that came out, but I got this one. And then right after that, I got the Cotton Candy one that came out. It's called Boardwalk Delight and I love that. I have the next one coming, it's a Coke that one so hopefully that one's as good but I just felt like they were on a roll this is tropical and fruity in a way that I really quite enjoy it's very juicy and bright it but it's papaya specifically like it really does smell like papaya and what's great is it doesn't have any of the overly ripe like stinky kind of smell that can happen it stays bright yet still very much papaya. So I don't know if I can get full notes on it. Let me see if I can. All right, I found them. This has notes of sparkling orange, star fruit, and papaya. Middle notes, jasmine petals, orris, magnolia blossom. Base notes, sandalwood, cedarwood, and amber musk. I think the orange is really brightening it up. And like I said, sometimes fruity stuff, like it's just not my go-to, but this, I guess it smells kind of like a fruity Bath and Body Works candle, oh, but slightly more refined and like a perfume version, but beautiful, really like this. And I feel like sometimes papaya isn't always like one of the notes. Like I said, this was from Skylar's Scent Club. If you don't know what that is, it's like a monthly subscription you can do through Skylar specifically. They come out with a new scent every single month, but then they also have past ones you can pick too. And it's $20 a month. So I do that, but I have more information about it and my thoughts about a lot of perfume subscriptions. If you're interested, I'll leave that video linked down below if you want to check it out. I was close to like unsubscribing because I was like, oh, I don't really like need these. I don't love the scents that have come so far, but this one, <laughs> and again, the Boardwalk Delights and hopefully this next one, I've been loving enough that I was like, damn, glad I didn't cancel. And last, we are leaving it off with one of the funnest and fruitiest ones in my collection. This is Vanille Banane from Comptoir Sud Pacifique. This is a vanilla banana fragrance, okay? I mean, does it get more fun and fruity than that? I don't think it does. This is a very much like a spectrum of a perfume in my collection personally. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. It's banana. <laughs> it's kind of like banana runs, but very sweet. If you've ever smelled any of the perfumes from this line, they have tons of vanillas. It's kind of what they're known for, but I would say all of their perfumes skew very sweet. I've described them before that I feel like they're not super balanced to me. Like they go sweet without any salt. They're cookies that you've made and you forgot the pinch of salt. You know what I mean? <laughs> That's where they are. Just to give you an idea, the banana this doesn't stay around like it's very much in the opening of this fragrance but it goes then into a really sweet almost kind of powdery vanilla to me and it's just so fun it's so fun and fruity it's one of those ones that I love smelling I'll spray on you know once once a summer really I mean that's what it is for me but I love it I picked this bottle up secondhand but I think if you want to smell this you probably can get a sample I think Twisted Lily sells it or you can look online do whatever you're gonna do if you want to smell something banana I just find that to be such an interesting note and kind of where I am like I love smelling some interesting notes there's some perfumes from Lardison perfumer oh I really butchered that I'm not even gonna go back and say it again but they had this like garden collection and they had notes of beetroot and cauliflower and I think there was some with peas and you can actually get the samples for free you just pay shipping so I'll leave that down below check them out and pick out some but the one I picked up it had like a beetroot note in it and oh my gosh <laughs> It smells like beetroot. It smells like a perfume version, but it kind of smells dirty. It smells like a rooted beet. It's pretty interesting. And I just, I, I can't help myself. I want to smell it, you know? Anyway, let me give you full notes on the banana perfume. We'll stop talking about beetroot perfumes. The notes on this, banana, whipped cream, orange in the top, banana leaf and clover in the mid, and vanilla and white rum in the base. To me, this is banana and vanilla all the way. I don't necessarily smell all the other stuff. I definitely don't smell the clover. I don't even get that much greenness from the banana leaf necessarily. Um, it just, it's banana, <laughs> almost like runts or something, but more fluffy. You know, there's not the tangy and hardness of the runt. But anyway, I'm gonna leave it here. These are all my fruity, fun, summery, tropical perfumes. I really wanted to just kick off the end of summer talking about some of the ones that I've been using. 
some of the ones that are a little bit newer to my collection um, and just fragrances that feature those kind of fun fruity notes. I'd love to know if you've tried any of these, what your thoughts are on them. And of course, if you think there's any fruity tropical fragrances out there that you think I'd like based off of some of the things I said, I'd love to know. I love taking your guys' recommendations and at least getting some samples or putting them in my notes and sniffing them when I'm out and about and at different perfume stores. But yeah, I'm gonna leave it here. Thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you so much for being here for my Scent Sunday videos. I truly love these videos and I'm so glad you guys do too. So anyway, thank you. I'll see you in the next one. Bye guys.